we're building right now is we're building the infrastructure to make this whole thing work. Eventually we'll need more pumps that we have. The system is set up static right now and pretty passive. Doesn't have a whole lot of air pumping through it. Doesn't have a lot, a whole lot of water circulating. But once we get a solar system in here and we can create electricity, we're going to put in bigger pumps that are going to circulate the water more, which means we'll have a lot more oxygen, which means fish will grow faster. We'll be able to stock the ponds more densely. We'll be able to run our aquaponic systems, and we'll be able to run, water all of our vegetable gardens around here, and our biomass production will step up by probably six or seven hundred percent. It'll just everything's gonna just take on a, um, a huge growth rate as we add the pumps and the oxygen and the electricity to this place. So the way we're gonna add electricity to this is several different ways. We're gonna use solar panels. We're gonna use a windmill. But I also want to explain to you guys how simple a windmill is in a lot of ways. Right, this is a car fan taken off a radiator from a car. It's 12 volts. If you hook a battery to this, it spins and it cools your car. But if you take the same exact fan and you stick it in the wind, so it, as this thing spins, guess what's happening? Induction on the opposite scale. When you add electricity to it, it spins. When you add spin to it, it creates electricity. So with this fan right now, we're pushing out, I put it on a voltmeter, we're pushing out about four volts. So what I'll do is I'll link four of them together. I'll bring it up to 16 volts. I'll do a parallel uh, uh, series circuit. I'll combine them, bring it up to 16 volts, and I'll stick it on a post, four of them together. It'll be a natural homemade windmill out of recycled material. We'll put a charge constantly into a battery bank in here. We'll have a really efficient windmill and this one as well. We teach people to do is if they can take a couple of these and put it in their yard on something and create a little bit of generator and maybe run all your yard lights out of it. Maybe run a fountain. Do something because it sets an example of how we can take something that's just being thrown away and how obvious there's so much energy that's available to us at every turn there's energy available to us. The heat that comes off my compost piles you could cook with. You could create methane gas out of it. Hopefully as we go forward and we get a good response from the community we'll get a little bit of funding dumped into us that we can have all these systems set up here. I'd like to eventually when we cook in the garden not have propane but have methane do a small methane reactor right out of our compost piles so that we can cook meals from that. We're, so we are a shining example of self-sufficiency where if you went into the middle of the desert and you had nothing but the knowledge you could create something out of nothing and food and water and everything. I like to say just add water but adding a little bit of wind and a little bit of sunshine is obviously pretty key in it as well. It's a shade hut right here. We put four by fours in the ground. It's going to be covered with plant material a vine that grows on it, probably two different types of vines, a pea, which is a nitrogen fixer, and what we call lilikoi, which is passion fruit. It'll enshroud this whole thing and it'll shade out our aquaponic areas and give us a natural little area.